Before we close out, let's head over to the KDKA News Desk. That's where Ken Rice is. Good evening, Ken. Good, uh, good evening, Josh. You know, the weekend's almost here, and it's going to be a busy one. We're going to show you what's in store for Taylor Swift fans and those who will be at the point celebrating Juneteenth. Also, new video showing people stealing rental cars from an airport. And what's next for people caught on camera fighting in the middle of Rivers Casino? All ahead in minutes on KDK News at 11. Josh. Thank you, Ken. In addition to everything Ken laid out, we've got Pirates and Cubs to talk about. We've also got um, Steelers to talk about as well. Plus, we've got high school baseball highlights. We've got Riverside highlights from them winning the 3A championship. And also that big Shaler comeback that Colin and I talked about earlier in the show as the Shaler Titans came back and won the 5A championship. They were down five runs, come back to tie it up, and they went in extra innings. And we'll show you how it happened during sports at 11 o'clock. Before we go, and I want to apologize to Colin Dunlap to kind of cut his time short here because there's something I wanted to get to. Two big losses um, in this region and in this, this industry this week. One, of course, is the one that's a lot more well-known with the loss of Stan Saverin. He's one of the giants in this market. He was one of the men that pretty much paved the way for people like me who grew up watching sports beat at 10, 11 years old and thinking to myself, that guy, him and God Junker have the coolest jobs in the world. Then I get to grow up and get into this business and meet guys like Stan and work with someone like Guy for so long and build relationships with them. And it just feels surreal to be a part of that actual room and then to lose a giant like that in the room. That's a shadow that will just never um, not be cast over everyone else in the room. So we will miss, definitely miss Stan. The other loss is in within our own KDKA newsroom. Brian Murphy is one of the most indispensable, irreplaceable pieces of this newsroom. I think back to when I started here eight years ago, and Murph was one of the people that helped bring me along. He helped show me the uh, editing software because I was anchoring and I was producing, and sometimes I was my own producer while I was anchoring. So I had to learn how to cut video, and Murph was helping me get things together in order to do that. And then there was a point where Murph had taught me so much, I had started figuring things out, and I didn't need his help anymore. I said, Murph, you taught me way too well. And he says, okay, well, my work here is done. But he was happy to see that he helped me progress and helped me do my job better. Then the renovations to the KDKA newsroom, and we had to make that transition to working on the other side of the building in the newsroom. Murph was the biggest resource. I think he pretty much did everything but hold the walls up on that other side of the building when we had to create a makeshift newsroom. Just his ability to help anybody in any situation, didn't matter who you were. Didn't matter what was going on with him. He was willing to help anybody and make everybody's day easier and help everyone do their job better. Um, I talked with one of my colleagues, Pat Damp, and I thought he summed this up really well. He said, when you work with Murph and he helped you out, you wanted to see the job through and do it right because you didn't want to let Murph down. And I feel that way moving forward. And I, I think that there's just this hole that's going to be there with the loss of not only such a great a co-worker and teammate, teammate, but also just a great human being and individual. And Murph, we love you. We will miss you, but we will keep going. We'll do what we have to do every day, and we'll come back, and we'll keep doing this because we would never want to let you down because you never let us down. Murph, we love you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks for your calls. Thanks for your tweets. For Colin Dunlap, for our producer, Steve Banco, and our team here at Pittsburgh CW, I'm Josh Taylor. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night.